You can just see your feet in the background. Um, yeah. Hey, what's up? So my dad and I are on a trip of the entire east coast of the United States of America for his 60th birthday. This is the story of that trip. Let's go. Good morning vlog. So we are in the um, Discovery slash SAA lounge this morning. Thanks dad for your Discovery card. We very much appreciate it. But um, yeah, free food, free drinks. We've got a lovely view of the terminal here. Watch the Turkish Airlines jet go off. Uh, yeah, review of the lounge. Spacious, plenty of seating, quite secluded. Mm. It's the first time I've ever been to an airport lounge, so time to go off. Going to Dubai and on to Orlando today. Start of the father son 60th birthday America road trip, eh? Good evening vlog, it's um, a quarter to, hmm? a quarter to 11 Joburg time, quarter to 1 Dubai time. We are in the Galley Lounge, uh, thanks Discovery and thanks Dad for the uh, lounge access. Uh, first time ever in like an international lounge, what's your review? I recommend the chicken masala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, top notch, I think the lady um, was... I don't know, thought I was some kind of heathen when I ordered uh, Pepsi with my whiskey, but it's delicious. <laughs> and uh, very nice three and a half hour layover here in the lounge. So cheers, we'll see you on the plane. That flight from uh, Joburg to Dubai was eight hours. This next one to Orlando, 16. It's gonna be a long one. Long trip. So yeah, then I got very sick on that second flight from Dubai over to Orlando. I think it was something in the food I ate, maybe the fish. Um, got very sick, threw up in the bathroom. Felt better a few hours later though, and then we eventually got to Orlando, and after several hours of getting through security and having an apple that we brought with confiscated, we made it through security and uh, made it into America. We went off to the Warbird uh, Airplane Museum the next day and it was a really cool opportunity just to see some really old military planes and the whole history of America's military and that from the perspective of the airplanes and the machines that made it happen. So that was really interesting and we had a great tour guide, Kurt, who showed us around and told us the history of all of the airplanes. What's your review of the uh, Warbird Museum? Very interesting. Wonderful pieces of history, yeah. So and tell me about this plane here that you're so keen to see again. A, such a knowledgeable guide, yeah. This is a, uh, Dakota. Uh, the guide was telling us that participated in the World War II in the Normandy landing, dropped paratroopers, and then participated in the Berlin airlift. It's a real piece of history. And it's still flying. Taco Bell. Yeah, it's still carrying parachuters and that regularly. Hello vlog. We are currently walking in the Chain of Lakes Park. We're heading off towards the beach to go watch a SpaceX launch, satellite launch. We were at the Warbird War Birds, War Birds, uh, Aviation. Aviation Museum earlier. It was very interesting. We saw some really cool wartime planes that the military uh, has built and then eventually like, used and donated. It's beautiful out here. We saw our first gator. And a little tortoise. And yeah. So far, review of America. Very, very friendly. Everyone's been yeah. so nice. Very good customer service. Yeah, not not just customer service. Though. People who stopped in the street to ask for directions, all of that. Very friendly. friendly. Yeah. Polite. Yeah. yeah. Of course, it is Florida. We'll see when we get to. Yeah, we're going to lots of different states, Washington. so we can compare the people. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty and uh, enjoying the weather. Beautiful weather. Oh, sunshine state. Mm -hmm. Then that evening we managed to watch a Falcon 9 launch. There was a launch happening from uh, Cape Canaveral Space Force across the island from where we were staying. So we went over to the beach, there were all people parked in their cars, they were watching and this rocket took off. It was incredible. I've followed uh, SpaceX and like space as a whole as like a hobby for the past several years and me and my dad came to Florida particularly to see um, a space rocket launch and it was amazing to see it go off in the distance a lot quieter than I thought but uh, like a beautiful marvel like a testament to man's um, engineering and technology prowess and to see it go up into the sky was just 
awesome. Wow. Yes. No sound though, yet, eh? That's so cool. And then the next day we went off to KSC to Kennedy Space Center. That was like the main reason for our trip to Florida. Uh, and just seeing the launch pads and the old spaceships and the capsules and the technology and the astronaut spacesuits and the history of Kennedy Space Center and the entire space race in general and just man's uh, voyage out into the stars was incredible. It's worth a two day visit, absolutely. And especially for people like us who followed space so closely, it was amazing and so worth it. Where are we heading today, Dad? Off to the Kennedy Space Center. Yeah. Uh, nice early morning. Uh, but uh, exciting stuff, yeah. yeah there, off in the distance, you can see the VAB, the Vehicle Assembly Building. If you look past all the cones, beautiful here by the coast. We have arrived at the Kennedy Space, Kennedy Space Center. Center. Yeah, so Mitchell, tell us your feelings uh, arriving here. Ha, that's great, man. You finally made it. The United States Astronaut Hall of Fame. Look at the size of these rockets as well. This is a ginormous scaled model of the, oh not a scaled model, a true size of the space shuttle tanks and solid rocket motors. That thing is ginormous! While we were at the Kennedy Space Center, we were on the one bus tour, and as we were driving down to the Apollo and Saturn V Visitor Center, that same Falcon 9 that launched the previous night, well, two, two nights previously that we'd seen go up into the sky and land out on the barge, came into Kennedy Space Center for refurbishment, and we saw it come past looking all toasty, and that was incredible to see the full life cycle of the like Falcon 9 rocket, and just like, so beautiful to see the technology come right past our bus. That was awesome. That's awesome. I guess you can tell your friends back home you had to pull over because there was a rocket on the road. Falcon 9. You see how dirty it was that someone had launched on the night. And then we went down to the Apollo 5 and uh, the Apollo and Saturn 5 Visitor Center and saw um, all the amazing technology that went into the moon landings and the actual Saturn V rocket was just massive and mind blowing and to think that Starship's going to be larger than that was just so cool. Um, and so that was really cool and really enjoyed that. Yeah, KC, an absolute must. Get the two-day ticket. Hey, what's up? We're at the Apollo and Saturn V Visitor Center today. I'm outside here. You can see the Mecha SpaceX, Mechazilla and Falcon 9 access arm far in the distance. But uh, it's really cool to be here and see the actual, one of the actual Saturn Vs inside and to see the huge um, Apollo command service modules and the spacesuits and all the things that, you know, actually made the Apollo program a reality. Um, just being careful of the alligators and snakes in the area. <laughs> But otherwise it's so cool to be here where it all happened. And then we actually paid extra to go on a extra additional bus tour which went down behind the gates like out of the visitor center and actually into Kennedy Space Center like the working operational part of it. 
uh, and to go and see um, pads 39A and B where they launched SLS and the Saturn V and the shuttle program from as well as where SpaceX is now launching uh, the Falcon 9 from and where they're going to be launching uh, Starship and Super Heavy from just to see the launch pads there to see the SpaceX uh, gantry and the tower arms they're gonna, that are going to catch the rockets was just amazing and to go like right behind the scenes and see like all the, the wildlife uh, at Kennedy Space Center and the amazing technology that actually goes into making rocket launches happen from right close up right there at the launch pad and actually to go to the vehicle assembly building and have a look at where they've constructed these huge rockets that was awesome and well worth the money if you're like big space fans like we are that is the height of a 21 floor building and those white stars are six feet about two meters from point to point So we are at the vehicle assembly building here at KSC where they've made a uh, the shuttle, they've made uh, SLS, Saturn V, all sorts of buildings. That is a ginormous building, all sorts of rockets. Hand painted uh... Hand painted flags, yeah. There's eagles flying around at the top as well. And then that's it. That's the first few days that we've been here in the United States of America. We've just been in Florida so far, but initial review, um, very friendly, um, very industrial as well. Everyone loves their big cars and uh, unhealthy food. If I can hate the environment, like the amount of single use plastic is like untenable and off the charts, but uh, I'm keen to travel a bit more around the States and to see how the different States obviously compare and to just get a better um, um, view of how the whole country works and like what it's like to travel around the United States in, 2023 um, but I'm just looking at my notes over here yeah the people are so incredibly friendly like not just customer service workers but everyone like people on the side of the road people um, that, you, that, that guy helped me in the supermarket try to install a sim card which didn't end up working um, just so nice and so friendly and it's really cool lots of retired people in Florida people definitely getting away from a cold up north and coming down here in the summer months it's hot man I'm wearing a t-shirt and pair of shorts um, <laughs> because it's so damn hot um, and so looking forward to getting some cold actually up near the north because it's quite hot down here um, but yeah keen to go up the whole of the east coast very soon dad anything more to add uh, to my uh, uh, review of the states so far uh, wonderful vehicles yeah uh, the vans the, the trucks yeah yeah, it's great. Very energy inefficient. Oh yeah, we are uh, we renting a Toyota Corolla and driving around in that. Great car, wonderful technology, but um, doesn't look doesn't quite look as well as the um, the huge trucks. We've got CNN here in the background. Americans love their um, their news. Object shot down today was detected over Alaska. This is our room down here in where are we? Down by the Everglades. Uh, Near homestead. near homestead in Miami. Yeah, Miami. But it's solid. These motels are awesome. Got the aircon blasting. Got the cars outside. Yes, good lord, it's hot. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's all for me. We'll see you in the next vlog. This was a, a really cool t-shirt that I bought at Kennedy Space Center for myself. But I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.